So we are on a different journey than the typical pharmaceutical companies are in terms of what we're doing to push the envelope to apply different study models and different vendors and technology integration to improve uh, the patient journey and the outcome in blood cancer patients. Uh, we've been doing this for seven years now and what we've done here today is presented kind of our outcomes and our lessons learned relative to um, what that journey has shown so far. And in a nutshell, what we've shown is that taking precision medicine approach using a master trial backbone, or format I should say, or design, um, actually improve the survival of blood cancer patients, frontline AML patients, uh, compared to standard of care. This, these data were published previously, but the point being that we figured out a way to attract promising treatments, collaborate with pharma sites, FDA and vendors, execute a program that actually saved lives. And now we're at it again. And so what we talked about was where we've been, what data and results we have, and then I presented to the audience where we're going. How are we taking the current changes in e-clinical technology and scientific acumen to actually move the sector forward uh, the same way that we did seven years ago. We're doing it again now with a lot of the newer approaches to treating cancer patients. So if you have a medication that you think looks promising, you have to typically combine it with a backbone treatment that might be a little too toxic, so we're taking steps to reduce that burden on the patient. Then what we're doing is deploying continuous monitoring of these cancer patients at home. We'd like to partner, and we are with some vendors that are, that are drawing smaller quantities of blood that still go to approved laboratories so it's more convenient for the patient. They can actually do self-draws at home. Then ultimately partnering with a leading AI company to improve the efficiencies for some of the oversight, the monitoring and reporting of the clinical trial data. Essentially we're taking out the mundane aspects that add no value, but we're putting the patient front and center but differently than what everyone says, because remember, LLS is the largest nonprofit dedicated to treating and curing blood cancers. And so we are the centric organization. But the only way we can actually accommodate these patients is to pretty much leave them at home, but get the data that's impactful so the clinicians can make the decisions. What are those data sets? Well, it's the vitals, it's temperature, it's a continuous monitoring of their movement, sleep, and so forth, coupled with what their blood counts show relative to the safety and efficacy response rates, whether you can start the next cycle for these patients. So it's, it's really pushing the envelope. We've done it before, we're doing it again, and we kind of had some fun with it in the presentation uh, about everywhere that the sector is now we were five years ago and so if you want to know where the sector is going now well you missed my presentation but you should understand that things that I just mentioned are things we're about to do or are doing and we'll give you some updates along the way relative to that more patient-centric approach that's going to improve their health outcomes.